<laughs> Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are doing well. This is mathematics, and in this presentation, we want to look at this question coming from 2023 GCE Paper 2, and the question was number 1B. Let's go straight into the question. Learners in a grade 10 class were asked the types of drinks they liked. The Venn diagram shows their responses. So we have a Venn diagram here. We have the universal for everything here. And we have three drinks, which are Fanta, Coke, Sprite. Um, here it's showing 17. Here we have X plus 2. Then 5, X, X minus 2, X, 3, 7. So this is the Venn diagram. And we have questions here that follow. Like I always say, identify the topic from which the question is coming from. What topic is this? Sets. With that in mind, let's proceed. This Venn diagram you are seeing here, we are told that it represents learners who were asked to choose the drinks that they like. And this was the response. Now before we can look at the questions here, let's try to understand the meaning of this Venn diagram. We have three sets representing three drinks. Do you know the meaning of this 17 here? The 17 means those who like Fanta only. 17. There's a word what? Only. Here you need to understand the language. Have you seen the 5 here? What does this mean? Those who like what? Coke only. 3 here for Sprite only. This X you are seeing here will be for both those who liked Fanta and Sprite, but not Coke. So you need to understand each step or each part. X here will mean those who liked all the three. So the value of X that we are going to get here will be the same because it's XX. So don't get confused that there was a mistake here, what and what. No. Do you know the meaning of the seven here? This seven did not like any of the three. So that's the reason why you're seeing it here. Now let's proceed with the questions here. The first one, given that 40 learners liked Fanta, find the value of X. That's the first thing. You need to know the value of X for other calculations here. Now, the information that has been given is given that 40 learners liked Fanta. Have you seen that? Fanta. How many 40? The total for Fanta is 40. What will be the value of X? You go back to the Venn diagram. This is the set for Fanta. This is the circle. So we are told everything here under Fanta, it should give us 40. That's the meaning. So we are going to start adding this circle here for Fanta. Okay, so we start 17. So I'll be, I'll be writing here so that uh, we understand them very well. So let me start here, 17 plus what we have. This is the set for Fanta. So I have X plus two. So X plus two plus what else do I have? I also have X here plus X. What do I have? I also have another X here. X is it done for Fanta? So this is for Fanta here. Yes. So it's this plus this plus this plus this. Equal to what? 40. So we are going to say equal to 40. 
we have an equation there. Let's start solving. So those with x can be added. So we have x plus x plus x. What are we going to get? 3x. So we have 3x plus 17 plus 2 is 19 and equal to 40. Then we have 3x. The positive so, uh, positive 19 here will be able to cross the equal sign and it becomes negative. So this will be like that. Mathematically, we say the additive inverse of 40 uh, of 19 here will be negative uh, 19. But in short, we just say when the positive 19 cross the equal sign, it becomes negative. So we have 3x here is equal to 40 take away 19 will be 21 and now we can divide by 3 divide by 3 answer this x will be equal to how many 3s are in 21 7 so the value of x is what 7 now it's known the moment you find the value of x even if you're given y the moment you find the values of value, what you need to do is now to substitute so that you have a clear Venn diagram. That's when you'll be able to answer these questions. Okay? So now let me substitute. This Venn diagram now will appear like this. It will now be like this. Let me uh, write it well like this. So I have three sets. Three sets like this, then this is for Fanta, this is for Coke, and this is for Sprite. Okay, and then here I have X. Are you seeing that? So here there's X. So now I know the value of X is what seven. So where there's X here, I'll write seven here. Where else? Here, x meaning 7 here. What do I have here? 17. So 17 here. What do I have here? Here is x plus 2, meaning x is 7. 7 plus 2 will give me 9. So here I have 9. 9 there. Then here I have 5. Here, what do I have? Here it's x minus 2 meaning 7 minus 2, that will be 5. So here I have 5, here I have got 3, then outside I have 7. So this is now uh, the way the Venn diagram will be. With this in mind, you can now proceed to answer the rest of the questions. So here we have answered the value of uh, x is 7. Okay, it's 7. The other part of the question here says, find the total number of learners in the class. Total number of learners in class. So we are saying now everything. Total number of learners in class. The entire universal set here, or the universe. What would be that? So we are going to add everything. So we are using this one now, because we have substituted numbers. So we add everything here and see what we are going to get. So if we add everything here now, we are going to have, this is Roman number two. So I'm going to have 17. I'm going to have 17 plus nine plus five plus five plus seven plus seven plus three plus seven i've seen that so now what answer are we going to get you add everything here 17 plus 9 plus 5 plus 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 3 plus 7 so when you add everything here you'll be able to get 60 okay so this will now be 60 learners. We're done with that. 
60 learners will be the correct answer. I hope we are together. We proceed with the other question here. How many learners, Roman numeral A, did not like Fanta? So how many learners did not like Fanta? So we are here. The set for Fanta is here. This is for Fanta. I see that. So now they are saying, how many learners did not like Fanta? So we are not going to add anything in here, but outside. You see that? Outside. So if we are saying outside, then we are saying 5 plus 5 plus 3 plus 7. What will be the answer? So if you say 5 plus 5, that's 10. Then 7 plus 3 is 10. So 10 plus 10 gives us what? 20. So those that did not like Fanta were 20. So the answer to that is 20 learners. Just like that. Or if you want, you can still find this 20 by saying, here we are told that given that 40 learners liked Fanta. Are you saying? 40 liked Fanta. And how many learners were in this class? There were 60 in total. So if we say 60 minus 40, what are we going to get? 20. So even that way can work. Okay? The last part here says, how many learners liked two types of drinks only? Two types of drinks only. You need to understand what they mean here by two types only. So, when we have a seven here, this seven represents the number of learners that liked everything. But we are interested in two. Not everything, not all the three, but in two. So if it is two, then we are saying it is this number plus this number plus this number. So these are the ones that liked two only, because nine here liked Fanta and Coke. Five here liked Coke and Sprite. Seven here liked Fanta and Sprite. Have you seen that? So you add nine plus seven plus five. That would be the answer here. 9 plus 7 plus 5. When we add everything here, we will be able to get 21. So, this is the way the question was supposed to be answered. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to share the video, like, follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.